Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today I'm gonna to show you how I do chicken and waffles. Now this dish is a southern favorite, typically served with fried chicken, but you know I'm gonna fire up the grill. We're gonna get some chicken breast, boneless, skinless, butterflied out, get them on the grill. We're gonna do barbecue style over some cornbread waffles. This recipe is gonna be fantastic. I know you're gonna love it. Let's get to cooking. So I'm starting today with a couple boneless, skinless chicken breasts, and I want them to cook even while they're on the grill, so I'm gonna take my knife and butterfly them open. This is gonna let them spread out. It's also gonna let the heat distribute all the way through them so you don't get thin spots. We can cook the thick pieces of that chicken at the same rate as we cook the thin pieces, and it makes for a big, juicy piece of chicken. So now that we have our chicken butterflied, we're gonna to put together a barbecue marinade. I want this chicken to soak up some flavors, really have some great taste to it. I've got a cup of water in my mason jar here. I'm adding some olive oil, some red wine vinegar, a little lemon juice. Of course, we gotta have some garlic. Love that fresh garlic. Then some hot sauce, and all we need is some seasoning. So first, I want that salt, pepper, garlic, my AP rub. You need about a tablespoon of it, just to eyeball it. That looks about right to me. Then for the barbecue part of this marinade, I'm adding some of my barbecue rub, and I want two tablespoons. Hey, if you go a little extra, that's all right, it tastes good. That looks right. We're gonna put a lid on. Just shake this marinade up a little bit. It don't have to be whisked a whole lot. We just wanna incorporate it. Now we're gonna drop this chicken breast in a Ziploc bag. Pour our marinade right over it. And that's enough marinade to do four of these big breasts. Get as much of the air out as you can. And then you just wanna move it around. You wanna make sure that chicken's covered really good. Now we're just gonna get this chicken breast in the refrigerator for about an hour. It's about all it needs. Hey, if you go a little longer, that's fine too. We're gonna to be firing up the big green egg today. You can do this on any grill. You're just gonna set it up for some direct grilling. We'll show you how we cook it, show you how we put those waffles together. Y'all stick around. So I'm adding some Royal Oak lump charcoal to my big green egg. Then I'm gonna just kind of make a depression, add a couple wax cubes to get the fire started. You wanna let those coals get good and hot? Then go ahead and put your grate on. You see I'm using my grill grates today to get some good marks on this chicken. We're gonna close the lid and then open the top all the way. We want the grill to come up. I'm looking for 350, 375 today. It's gonna to be perfect temps. On that bottom vent, I've got it about an inch open. We wanna let some air in. Just let the green egg heat up. We'll be ready to season that chicken and get it on in just a minute. Now we can cook these waffles real fast. All right, while the big green egg's heating up, I wanna show you how we put together these cornbread waffles we're gonna do. And these aren't just your ordinary waffles. I'm doing a jalapeno and cheese kicked up cornbread style waffle to go with this barbecue chicken. It's just a simple cornbread recipe. This is my mom's recipe. I've been making it for a long time. It's just a few simple ingredients. The meal, the flour, two tablespoons of sugar, a pinch of salt, and two cups of good buttermilk. You wanna get all that stirred together and combined. Then you're gonna add your cheese, whatever kind you like. I'm going with a good cheddar today some diced jalapenos, and just a touch of cayenne at the end. So this cornbread batter is gonna make a great mix for these waffles, and I've just got a cheap waffle iron here that I picked up at the store. Get it good and hot, and then spray it with some cooking spray so we don't stick. Got a half a cup of the cornmeal batter. Just eyeball it out. And we're gonna put it right in our waffle maker. But we wanna get enough in there to make a good waffle. We wanna close our maker down, make sure it secures. Now after a few minutes, the waffle iron's gonna start steaming, and they're gonna cook about 15 minutes. We'll check on them here in a little bit, show you what they're looking like. Y'all just hang out and watch us make waffles. All right, these waffles have been cooking about 12 minutes. I always like to peek at them and just kinda see. You can see they're browning up, looking good. They still got a little bit longer. I'm gonna let them go another three minutes. 15 minutes was my magic number. It's a little bit longer for cornbread waffles. It takes that cornmeal batter a little bit longer to cook than traditional waffle batter. All right, the timer's gone off. It's been 15 minutes, and I know these waffles gotta be close. Oh yeah, that's what I wanna see. They're browned up, nice. You can see the peppers in them. Let's get them out of here. Let's move them over to a platter. Hey, I'm gonna do a quick spray. Get ready for the next batch. So you got the timer set on the second batch, and hey, check these out. I mean, you can see the peppers in them, the cheese in them. It's got a good golden color. You know, a cornbread waffle. That's gonna be great with this barbecue chicken. All right, our chicken's been in the marinade for an hour, so we just take it out, let it drip dry a little bit, and you can see it's got a lot of flavor in it. It's kind of changed the appearance of it. You can see the way that rub's worked on it, all those flavors. That's what I want to see. Ready to go on the grill with it. The green egg's hot, but we want to put a little more seasoning. And this is where you want to add your barbecue rub. You can use whatever kind of rub you like. You know, I'm using my original Killer Hogs. It's got great flavor, so it'll give it some good color when it gets done. We'll season this side, lay it down on the grill, 
season the backside on the grill. All right, so our grill's up about 375 degrees. That's where we want it. The grill grates are nice and hot. We're just gonna spread this chicken out right on the grate. Kind of at an angle, we can get some grill marks on it. And we need to time it about four minutes and we're gonna put a twist on it. It's gonna be a pretty quick cook. It's gonna take chicken breast probably about 12 minutes to cook through. We wanna to go to 165 degrees internal. All right, it's been four minutes. We're gonna take our chicken breast, and just put a little twist on it. Get some good grill marks. And we're gonna go ahead and season this other side. It's looking good. A little bit more of your barbecue rub right on this side. Set that timer for four minutes. Close the lid and let it cook. All right, we've been a total of eight minutes on our chicken. Time to flip these dudes over and see what they look like. Let's get them back on this side now. Ooh, I got some beautiful grill marks. Barbecue rub gives it an awesome color. Now this is where we want to start glazing them, turning it into barbecue chicken. We've got all that good barbecue rub and season and the marinade. Now we're going to go ahead and start sauce process. We need about four more minutes total. This chicken will be cooked through perfect. We'll watch it with the thermo pen. Perfect to me. Let's get the lid closed. All right, we're right at that 12 minute mark. I'm gonna go ahead and get a little more sauce on this side as well. It's looking good. Let's just glaze this back side. We only need about two minutes. Char the top a little bit. Then we'll start looking at our temps. I know they've got to be right where we want them. All right. I know that size, that sauce is set. Let's go right back here for just a second. Ooh, look at that. Caramelized up. Beautiful color on this chicken. See what the internal is like on this thickest piece. 166. Oh yeah, we're right in that range. 166 degrees. I'm calling them. Hey, look how pretty that chicken is. Barbecue chicken is going to go great with these waffles. Let's get these over to the cutting boards. I'll show you how we're going to serve them. All right, so let's show you how we're gonna plate this up. I've just got a couple of my waffles here, the cornbread waffles with that jalapeno and cheese. And I'm just gonna take one of these chicken breasts and hey, I would go right on top of it, just like that. That looks right to me. And then the last thing is take that glaze that we mixed up. It has that Killer Hogs barbecue sauce in it, a little honey and a little hot sauce. And let's just drizzle some so we get plenty on that waffle. That's gonna be our chicken and waffle dressing right there. And I'll tell you what, that's what I call barbecue chicken, cornbread waffles. You know it's going to be good. Before I get me a bite, and I'm dying to, real quick what we did. We started with a couple boneless, skinless chicken breasts, butterflied them out so they would cook even. We got them in that barbecue marinade, red wine vinegar, olive oil, some barbecue rub, a little bit of AP, lemon juice, water, that easy. One hour in the fridge, got our grill good and hot, 375 degrees. Started charring that chicken breast. We went the diamond pattern on it. Four minutes, four minutes, turn it over, let it go a few more minutes and start glazing. Process is simple, turns out beautiful chicken. Now the cornbread waffle, hey, my mom's recipes never let me down on that cornbread. Self-rising flour, self-rising cornmeal, that's the whole key. We just mixed up that waffle batter, kicked it up with a little jalapeno and cheese, then we let them cook for 15 minutes. Now you know I gotta try this, so I'm gonna get in here and give me a bite. I wanna get a piece of chicken, make sure I get some of that cornbread waffle. That looks great to me, a little extra sauce there. Mm. I ain't joking folks, this is good. But check out the cook on that chicken, it's cooked perfect. Still got plenty of juice in it. The jalapeno on the cheese really comes through in the waffle. Give me another bite here. I hate for y'all to have to watch me eat, but here we go. <laughs> Hey, chicken and waffles, it's famous down here in the South. And this is my take on it, barbecue style. Y'all gotta try this recipe. Thanks for checking us out today here at How to Barbecue Right. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to that channel. It'll let you know when we put out new stuff. You can also send the comments and the questions to our Facebook and Twitter. We love those, we try to get to all of them. We'll see you guys next time. That's excellent. Man, I gotta eat some more of this shell. I'm telling you, barbecue chicken and waffles is on point. Dirty style.